Hello, today we're going to talk about section th topic three, section four, the circle. All right, so this is all your basic info or basic voca vocab for circles, okay? So you should know like what a radius is and a diameter. They go through the center, all right? A central angle means it's an angle that's attached to the center. The center is the vertex, okay? Your circumference is the perimeter around it. A tangent line hits the circle in one point. Um, let's see, you have a segment of a circle. That's the shaded, shaded part. So um, think of it like a chunk cutting a piece off. Okay. An arc is where you are cutting off just a piece of the perimeter. Okay. So not part of the area. The segment is part of the area. The chord is, it goes from side to side, so one edge of the circle to the other edge, but it does not go through the center. If it did, it would be called a diameter. Okay, so a chord is kind of like any line. And then a sector, oops, <laughs> a sector is kind of like a pizza slice. Okay, so you're taking a, a chunk out of the circle, but you're doing it as a pie slice or pizza slice. Okay, so you want to make sure you understand all these vocab words. All right, what this lesson is mainly focusing on is arc length. So finding the length of just a piece of the perimeter and sectors. So finding the area of just a piece of the whole thing. Okay, so starting with sectors, I'm just kidding, starting with arcs. <laughs> so the length of an arc, all right, we can find... Um, well, let's just start with the first example. I'm visual, so I'm going to draw a circle. And it has a radius of 5 and an arc that subs subtends an angle of 60 degrees. So that means it, the arc, so the chunk that we're trying to see. Well, let me do a different color. So this chunk from this side to this side is your arc length and that angle was 60 degrees. So we want to find that arc length. Well, we know we can find the entire arc, right? That would be the circumference. So the circumference is just 2 pi r. So the whole thing is 2 pi times 5. But we only want this little angle of it. Well, the whole circle represents 360, and we only want 60 degrees of it. That's why we multiply by 60 over 360. It's a proportion, okay? So it, this formula is, of course, in your formula booklet, but that's all we're doing here. We're taking a proportion of the whole piece, so 60 degrees of 360. Okay, so that's essentially just 1 6 times 2, well, times 10 pi. All right, so the exact answer would be 10 over 6 or 5 over 3 pi. But we want it in um, 3 sig figs, so we plug that into our calculator and we get. 5.24 centimeters. Okay. Now let's do example two. Okay. Yes. So now in example two, all right. So again, I'm a visual person. So draw my picture. Beautiful circle. Radius of four. Um, we have an arc extended by some angle. And that arc is 8 centimeters. Okay, so we don't know the angle, but we know the arc is 8 centimeters. So from here to here. All right, so we just use our formula. Some angle over 360 must equal, oops, just kidding, times 2 pi r equals 8. So then it's just a matter of plugging all that stuff in. Okay, so here we solve for our theta. We end up doing 
8 times 360 to get rid of that fraction. Then divide by your 2 pi times 4. So I'm just going to write 8 pi. Okay. And then our angle should be rounds to the nearest degree, 115 degrees. Okay, so just using those formulas. All right, so for the next one, we have an area of a sector. So I actually can draw a circle here. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> um, yep, forgot I had that tool. So then we have radius of 5, a central angle of 60, and find the area of the given angle. All right, so the area of the sector. So, well, the area of the entire circle is pi r squared. Okay, so just pi times 5 squared. Notice that's where we get this part from. And then we want to find just a piece of it. Well, that piece is roughly 60 degrees of the whole thing. So we do 60 times 3, or sorry, 60 over 360 times our area. It's a proportion. A sector is a proportion of your whole thing. So that's why we multiply by this fraction. Okay? We plug this into our calculator. So this is how we get our area. Um, oh, I don't know why I put roundabout. That's exact. So our area is 13.089969. Da, 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 da. We do three sig figs. So we get 13.1 square centimeters. All right. All right, next example. Here we have an application problem. So we're going to create a shot put field. So it starts with a circle with a radius of 2. So this from here to this edge, that circle, is 2 centimeters. I'm sorry, 2 meters. And the second ring, so the second ring right here, would have a radius of 4. So from here to here would be 4. Okay, which means this piece right here would be another 2. I'll write that a little larger. Okay, and then the third ring would have a radius of 6. So from the beginning all the way to that edge would be 6. So here we would have another 2. Okay, so each of these just added a radius, or added to the radius 2 meters. Okay. So they need to plant grass seeds between these rings. If the central angle is 45 degrees, calculate the area of the shaded region to the nearest square centimeter. I'm sorry, square meter. I don't know why I keep saying centimeter. So we want to find um, this shaded part. Well, that's just a piece, okay? Um, we can kind of, uh, how do I word this? You zoom out, okay? So think about their sector. We have a sector with the green, okay? So our, our think of the green as going all the way to the edge. That's a huge piece of pizza. And then we subtract the blue piece of pizza, and we're left with the green one, with that little shaded um, part, okay? So do the big one minus the little one, and you're left with that weird shape, okay? So that's what we're doing here. So the area of the large sector, so you do your large sector minus your small sector. Oh, I don't know why I wrote that. Sector. So the large one would be 45 out of 360, right? Because that's how big the angle is of the whole circle, so it, the radius is 6, so 36 pi, pi r squared. All right, and then the small one would be 45 over 360 times, well, the radius of the small one is 4, so that would be 16 pi. Okay, so how we would figure this out, we do 45 over 360 times 36 pi minus 45 over 360 times 16 pi. 
Therefore, our area is approximately 7.85398 dot dot dot. So therefore, it's 8 meters squared. It's area, so it needs to be square. And it's set to the nearest square meter. So that's where we got 8. We rounded there. All right. Hopefully that makes sense. If not, ask me in class. I'd be happy to go over it again. All right, so let's do another example. So here we've got a circular sector. So we've got a sector, and then we cut off the triangle piece. So instead of trying to find this weird shape right here, we don't have any formula for that, let's do the pizza slice minus the triangle. Okay, so hopefully you know that this is, you know, you continue your circle like that. Okay, so take your circle, your sector minus your triangle. Okay, so the shaded part. All right, so let's find our sector first. So the sector is going to be 110 degrees out of 360 times the whole thing, which radius is 3, so that's 9 pi. Then our triangle. All right, well, the area of a triangle, we have an angle, one radius is three, so that side is three. Ah, that side too. So we do one half AB sine C. So one half times three times three times sine 110. So our answer is, um, what is that, 100, well, 11 over 36, so 11 fourths, yep, times pi, um, minus the triangle, which would be 9 over 2, sine 110, and let's see, we plug that into our calculator. And we get 4.410763, blah, 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 to the nearest square centimeter. So that would be 4 square centimeters. All right. So again, with these, you want to think big, right? Go for a bigger shape and take away smaller shapes, OK? All right, this is everything you need to know. Hopefully this makes sense. If not, come see me in class. Be happy to answer any questions you got.